So I woke up today and I did the usual. I booted up my PC and I went to the bathroom. I came back, logged in, and then boom, I get a pop up from the Steel Series software that there's this new Rapid Trigger function for the Apex Pro. And I'm like, it didn't register to me at first. They're like, oh yeah, I have an Apex Pro. So I had a quick read in the pop up. This is the news article, which I'll go through a bit later. I read it and I was like, oh, cool. And then I go to my to my software engine to see my keyboard. And then it says critical firmware update version available or something among these lines. And it's like, click here to install. I'm like, holy, this, this is it. So I installed it, click on it. And then you have this new function. Let me see if I can make it any bigger, though it doesn't really help. You basically have this, which is the rapid trigger. And you can select it for all the keys. And wow, it's not it's nothing like the Razer rapid trigger. This is actually proper rapid trigger. This is closest stick to the Wooting 60H and it has some more features. But oh, I really want to buy one, but now Apex, or I suppose still series in this case, just gave me a reason like, yeah, stick with me, boy. So I have them activated and let's try and show you an example use case. So recently I've been playing a lot of Dota 2. Now you can set an actuation time of 0.1 millimeters, which is crazy. This is like feather touch the key and it's like, boom, you know, it's absolutely insane. So let's say in this case, you're playing Dota 2. So you have this thing called the blacking bar and basically you use it and it makes you immune for a few seconds in this game, for example. And let's say you don't want to press that by mistake, because if you do, I guess we'll know what happens. It's like flashing in League of Legends by mistake. It's like you do it, nothing happens, and everyone's like, ping, 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 what are you doing? And then and they say some really nice thing each other, like you are so effing, and then you know, you know what happens after. So, um, what you can do, and I mean, you're able to do this before, just set the actuation to something higher. So, let's say 1.5. <clears throat> and in this case, let's say you want to press your ultimate, you know, just feather over it and just goes, it's, it's a bad case, but. 0.1 and I'm gonna show you how crazy 0.1 is basically I have this thing hold on this this is 33 grams I don't know what it is some Feng Shui prosperity type thing and um, this doesn't actuate any keys unless I put some weight on it like a lot of weight like this this is a lot of weight oh I went first person I mean it's not first person like from camera view and you know if I do this nothing triggers oh except the key that is 0.1 so you see hold on it's like feather. You don't even have to. Now the rapid trigger function, you have the same as the Wooting 6 he where basically I buttoned out the key right now. This is buttoned out. This is all the way in a skin go. If I just let go a little bit and then press back down again, right now I'm pressing back down on it. It will trigger. And I didn't let go of the key to go all the way up to, to reset. It resets as soon as it goes back up. So you can press down on it again. So I can do this i'm not letting the key go up i guess it's the best way to show it so i don't cover the entire key okay. crazy usually you have to let it go back to its actuation time so let's say 1.5 millimeters it's the actuation time which is here on this key but as soon as it lights up this is 1.5 millimeters and what you need to do for it to happen without the trigger let me actually show you without the trigger on this key so let's open up the software and let's say the B key. The B key is actually not going to have this rapid trigger function. And let's save. Okay. So the B key does not have rapid trigger. What will happen is I trigger it. See, it doesn't happen. It doesn't trigger. I have to let it go past its 1.5 and then it will trigger again. So I have to let it go, then to trigger. I have to let it go, then trigger. I have to let it go, then trigger. So I have to let it go all the way up nearly. Or to the 1.5 mark in this case. So let's do, hold on. So let's do something like 0.5 on it. So I'm going to change it and let's do 0.5. Let's save. So you see, triggers much, much faster. But now if I bottom out and I press, it won't trigger. I have to let it go pretty much all the way up or to 0.5. And to show this better to you, let's put the B key to 0.1. So now I have a 0.1. And this does not have rapid trigger. So as soon as I just touch it, it goes in. But see, I'm doing that thing again when I'm not letting it reset past this point and I press it, nothing happens. See, uh, unless sometimes I do let it a bit. 
but I'm trying right now not to. See, nothing. Absolutely nothing. But with the R key, which has rapid trigger, I can press. And they're both as, these keys are both as 0.1. You see, as soon as I let go, the key resets. And that is crazy. It actually works flawlessly. I played a bit and it feels so good. You can no longer blame the game for your bad performance. You can say, oh, but I press this key. Just put it to 0 0.1. I mean, sometimes you definitely press it by mistake. Maybe you know 0 0.1, something like 1.5, 1.2. Something sensible. Unless there's something that you really, when you hope, when you something touches, you just want it to happen. Because I'm like, I found this R key. I go in, bam. I know R will trigger. R will trigger so quickly. I literally, I think if you do this across the keyboard, see, it's when I get over here. Praise. This is absolutely crazy. Now let's go to the article. Anyway, this is on the official Steel Series page, and I have a link down to this blog if you want to read it. But basically, what is rapid trigger? Most switches have a set actuation point, like I showed you, like 0 0.1, and you can put. Now, the beauty of it, the Apex Pro, you set your actuation point, which is absolutely crazy due to it doesn't have your usual switch it has a magnetic switch so how you deep you need to press it depends on your settings as long as you keep your finger on that key it will keep inputting it as long as it's below the actuation point let's say two millimeters if your finger lifts the key above that threshold the switch will reset and release the key press but again rapid sugar takes you to the next level it resets active resets active and this is what i mean with the b key which has the same actuation time but you see it didn't it didn't trigger you have to let it go all the way up for it to reset. Rapid trigger. It enables dynamic active and reset points based on the movement of a key, making it active as soon as you press it. But unlike in typical actuation, the key resets as soon as you lift your finger. This means the key does not need to pass the fixed reset point to release the key press. Huge, huge. How can this help in your gameplay? And I showed you some new cases, but in practice, this means that if you need to press an ability or a button multiple times in rapid succession, every single of your presses will register with accuracy without skipping a bit. And Dota 2 is not a really good example, but in FPS games, as they highlight here, this makes a difference. I feel like in Valorant or Counter-Strike, when you need to move, as soon as you let go of the key, you know you are going to stop moving, which gives you precise movement. So like I was shaping in FPS titles, with Rapid Trigger, your character will stop shaping at the precise moment you start lifting your finger, leading to better aiming with your mouse. And they ask for rhythm games, so um, something like Elden Ring, so like games where there are still fight them. Um, Six keyboard warrior, or you're fighting enormous bosses in Elder Ring or other Souls are game. No input or release latency means you land those perfect parries and one frame blinks. Huge. So I say I press the button, I parried, and it doesn't happen. So yeah, that will it's gone. You can only blame yourself now. This is the edge I've been waiting for to elevate you above the competition delivered by a steel series keyboard. So this works, I believe, only on the Apex Pro keyboards. That means the Apex Pro 10 key less and the one I have, which is in full. Yeah, that's it. This works on all Apex Pro keyboards. Long press the MIDI button by your OLED screen to enter the OLED menu scroll with the, and select the activation. Click the roll again to toggle rapid trigger. So you can trigger it within the actual keyboard, but I will say just do it in the software. And you have to you have to enable it in the software anyways. And man, this is this is crazy. But better title to show you. The features of the rapid trigger is an FPS, and in this case, I'm gonna play Varan. So let's say I'm moving to the right, I'm holding D, and I'm gonna let go, but I'm still didn't let go of it all the way. So if I press it again, I move, I stop, and I stop moving. A, let go, stop, press it again, go, stop. So you can do this. This is what rapid trigger allows you technically. You can actually move like this. Which is crazy precise. This is just... see you can so what allows you to do is to stop exactly where you need to shoot because um in FPS game shaping vapor press especially in, in Counter Strike, you wanna stop when you're shooting. Because if you shoot and move, it looks something like this. Yeah? That's why the wooding is such a big deal, like in Apex Legends and stuff. And this is the best example. Let's say you are you want to shoot, and when you shoot, you want to stop. 
But you also want to keep moving technically. There are soon as we're done shooting, you want to do like quick burst and move. So let's keep my crosshair right here, let's say. And see, every single shot landed in in a rough area. Much, much better. And this is much harder to do without without rapid trigger. And as an example, I'm um, again I'm not really good. And rapid trigger really makes it easy. Um rapid trigger does make it easier. So let's deactivate rapid trigger for every single one of the keys. And let's try it again. There are a few shots. Yeah, there, see, there are a few shots which I messed up, and those shots can make the difference. So it's much easier to do it with rapid trigger on. Let me turn it back on. And again, I'm not I'm not a really good FPS player. I'm not a really good FPS player and I didn't play it in a while. If you play VS games religiously, this is a massive, massive boost. See the big Apex Legends, Call of Duty, anything. That requires precise movement, and I mean all of them require precise movement. Right, look at this. I can do it flawlessly now. That's actually crazy. Wow. Talking about unfair advantages. So if you said, oh, I want a wood thing to do this. Mouse say you can grab the apex and actually get a lot more out of it than with your wood thing. Now wood thing actually has some competition. So if I've been uncertain about getting a wood tank or something, we have a new option. You can grab an Apex Pro and it's actually much cheaper. You don't have to wait four months for delivery and you, you get a lot of features as well. So it's really, really close. The wood thing gives you more customability, especially if you want that 10 key less look. So without this, we hide this. This is ugly, yeah? So you get a 10 key less which is basically the size of the wood thing. And oh man, it's going to be beautiful. And also, excuse the dead LEDs, but I actually spilled drink on this keyboard. So yeah, sad. Some LEDs died, but at least all the keyboard works. So that's that's good. So a yeah, good keyboard, water resistant. Yes, very good, very good. And the wood thing finally has some competition, which is awesome. And, you know, buying a keyboard, like Apex Pro came out a long time ago. I can't remember exactly when it came out. I think it was, let me actually look it up. Yeah, Apex Pro came out somewhere in 2019, June 2019. Four years later, getting an upgrade on a keyboard you bought four years ago. And it actually completely changes the keyboard. That's insane. I would say that's amazing that is really good for everyone i bought an apex and i think think there's this is the best time to buy an apex keyboard well i hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching see ya